Before installation, we need to prepare the tools. The operating environment is so important that it will influence the lifespan of SPH. So please don't expose the SPH to the environment of sunshine, rain and snow. In order to ensure the machine can run normally and easy to operate, please provide adequate space for SPH. First of all, unpacking the SPH package and please check whether the unique damage or missing parts if happen. Please contact the supplier. There are other parts inside the SPH package. There are some connection terminals including PV switch, PV connection terminals, EPS output connection port, emergency power supply, AC grid connection port, antenna, USB for local FW update, RS-232 Wi-Fi for communication accessories, DIP for safety standard of different countries, dry contact, battery connection terminals, and communication terminals including CT port, DRMS communication port only for Australia and New Zealand market, 4852 port to connect the third-party lithium battery, 4851 port to communicate with a smart meter, NTC port for lead-acid battery temperature sensor, CAM port to communicate with Crowwatt lithium battery, One, make sure the PV switch is off. Two, similar to the traditional inverter connecting, the input of PV panel can be realized by using PV terminal. Three, insert positive and negative cables of solar panel into the relative PV terminal of SPH. Limit maximum PV voltage 550 volts, maximum PV input current 12 ampere, max PV input power per string 4000 watts. Note, we suggest you use the cable which is greater than 4 square millimeters, 12 AWG to connect. SPH has an AC grid terminal and EPS output terminal. We can follow this AC wire suggestion to choose suitable cables. First of all, please confirm the L and PE port of the connection terminal and thread cables through pressure screw, seal ring, threaded sleeve in sequence. Insert cables into connection terminal according to polarities indicated on it and tighten the screws. Push and rotate the threaded sleeve onto connection terminal until both are locked tightly. Plug the socket into AC output terminal clockwise rotation to tighten the socket, counterclockwise rotation to loosen the socket. The EPS terminal connection is the same as the on-grid terminal installation. Tight the threaded sleeve into the off-grid connection terminal and plug the socket into EPS outlet terminal. Caution! No matter the grid is available or outage, make sure to isolate EPS load from both the public grid and SPH AC grid terminal. Dismantle the waterproof cover. Thread cables through pressure screw, seal ring, threaded sleeve, waterproof cover. Thread cables into connection terminal, then press the terminal by relevant tools until the battery cables are firmly connected. Finally, Connect positive and negative pole of battery cable to the respective battery terminal of SPH. Note: We suggest the distance between battery and SPH no longer than 1.5 meters, and the power line must be larger than 5 AWG. For communication connection, thread the CT and battery communication cables can into the waterproof cover as well. Connect them into the corresponding terminal and connect the waterproof into the inverter. Finally, pay attention to the direction of the CT as illustrated. Open the current transformer and you can see an arrow labeled on it 
which indicates the current direction, and the direction of the arrow means from public grid to user load. ProWatt provides two cables, whose length is 5 meters and 10 meters. ProWatt also provides RJ45 connector, so the total length can reach 15 meters. If the length is longer than 15 meters, it's better to choose the smart meter. Firstly, connect the port 1 to the L line of grid, port 3 to the N line of grid, port 2 to L line of SPH, and port 4 to N line of SPH. Secondly, connect the lane line pin 5 white blue to port 5 RS485A of the smart meter and lane line pin 1 white orange to port 6 RS485B of the smart meter. Thirdly, connect the other side of lane line to port 4851 of the SPH. Note, the telephone sign presents in the smart meter means the communication is successful. The grounding connector is at the bottom of the SPH.